Now, uh, one of the candidates who took a lot of heat tonight was a relative newcomer to the Republican Party, self-described outsider. Take a look. So first, let me just address a question that is on everybody's mind at home tonight. Who the heck is this skinny guy with a funny last name and what the heck is he doing in the middle of this debate stage? I'll tell you, I'm not a politician, Brett. You're right about that. I'm an entrepreneur. My parents came to this country with no money 40 years ago. I have gone on to found multi-billion dollar companies. I did it while marrying my wife, Apoorva, raising our two sons, following our faith in God. That is the American dream. And I am genuinely worried that that American dream will not exist for our two sons and their generation unless we do something about it. And I do think Brett is going to take an outsider because for a long time we have professional politicians in the Republican Party who have been running from something. Now is our moment to start running to something, to our vision of what it means to be an American today. If you have a broken car, you don't turn over the keys to the people who broke it again. You hand it over to a new generation to actually fix the problem. That's why I'm in this race and we're just getting warmed up. All right, Vivek uh, Ramaswamy. Vivek, I've been calling you Vivek. Why didn't you correct me? I didn't know well, that. Well, you know, it's I, Vivek. I didn't, I didn't mention know that. it, Sean. That's okay. It's like cake. You sh- okay, you should have told me. I appreciate I, best I didn't efforts. do it on purpose. <laughs> I appreciate best efforts. All right, so it was interesting tonight. I thought you were in an interesting position. You brought a lot of energy and, and, a, and a smile, and yeah. you seem to be having fun up there. Uh, I'm the only one on stage not bought and paid for. Ouch. Uh, I thought they were, they were coming after you pretty good. Uh, Christy came back at you and said, Oh, okay. Um, you know, compared you to Barack Obama, a guy <laughs> well, with a long last name and liberal, you know, obviously. Yeah, yeah and I, I, I encouraged Chris Christie to give me a hug because he did that to Barack <laughs> Obama. And that actually, unfortunately, good was the point. good luck charm for Barack Obama. But the reality is everybody on that stage had been on a debate stage before. This is my first time in a political debate, and I am thrilled with how it came out. We over exceeded my expectation. Frankly, even Trump, in, as an outsider, last time around, I think his second debate was a lot better than his first. Right. Frankly, well, this, this went I mean, way better one, than I expected. I think, obviously, one of the reasons is you're very media savvy. You have a, you have a warm, enticing personality. Thank you, you smile. Politicians don't smile enough. They need to smile more. I'm not and, a politician, and honestly, it was fun. Okay, I hate I to tell you, you're now officially know, a politician. Six months into being a politician. Yeah, you're in. You're, six you're, months once after you're in. tonight. Okay, officially, I'm going to have to cringe, but wear that label. Right. But I do think, Sean, it's going to take an outsider. Mm-hmm. I do not think, whether it's ending the war in Ukraine, whether it's reviving this economy, and the war that I really do want to fight is the war on the administrative state and the shadow government here at home. That is not going to happen from somebody who comes from the super PAC class. It's right. not going to come from somebody who comes from the historical Republican Party. It is going to take an outsider. And the other thing, Sean, that I think is really important in this election is that we're skating on thin ice. This has to be a moral mandate. This cannot be another 50.1 election. And I'm in this race to build a multi-ethnic, working-class majority like Reagan did. This has to be a landslide. Young, old, black, white, Hispanic, man, woman, doesn't matter. I'm running this campaign that way. We're going to the south side of Chicago, to Kensington, in the inner city of Philadelphia, where Republican candidates are taught not to go in a primary. But the reality is that's why I don't mention Republicans and Democrats on the stage. And I'm a little different than the other candidates here because everybody else was focused on Joe Biden. And I think Joe Biden's a disastrous president. But I think the way we win in a landslide is we have to offer an independent vision of our own. And the more we do that, the more likely we are to win. There were a few shots. It's not a time for on the job training. Yeah. You don't have that background, that experience. You have an impressive personal story talking about your parents. Uh, My my parents, my mom was a prison guard. My dad waited tables on weekend and was a family court probation officer. Look where you are now. You know, I know, by the way, they don't believe it, and they're in heaven. So uh, they're looking down saying, God, how did sure that happen? Yeah. Were, my mom thought I'd be on the other side of the prison. Hmm. Um, well, I think, I think it's a but, remarkable but the I mean, point is, but, but it's a remarkable story. That, that, the fact that your story that's the American my story. story. The, right. the extraordinary thing about our stories, Sean, right. is that they're not out of the norm. They're normal in the United States of America. Are I think you we need to make that true again. Are you confident that you can convince the American people that you know what? I've got enough experience that yes. can that can take care of this country's needs. Yes. And that is my job in this race. This was the first chance that I really had to introduce myself directly to the people. And I believe I will be the next nominee. I believe I will win the general election in a landslide that reunites this country. And I you do think it's going to take question, someone of a you would pardon generation. Donald Trump. Would you pardon the Bidens? No. I mean, it depends on I don't want to be them. Right. 
Right. The real heart of the problem with Joe Biden and Hunter Biden is that I believe they're selling off our foreign policy to make money. Uh -oh. And if that's proven in a court of law, they should be in prison probably for the rest of their life. Oh, I think but I don't want to be them. So I will let the I want to see an impeachment inquiry proceed. And if they're convicted in a, in a court of law, absolutely, they deserve full punishment for that. And the facts look pretty ugly to me as they stand. Vivek, any time I, I mispronounce something, you have every right to correct me. And I wish you would have earlier, because uh, but I appreciate your good sense of hey, humor. Thank, thank you, Sean. I appreciate good you to be being here. with us. Thank you. All right. I appreciate it.